there was this point in time in like 2011 or 2013 where you could make a post on Instagram and it had a pretty good chance of going viral. Like we had multiple posts just take off around that time. And then from 2013 to like 2020, everything just seemed to like mature on all of the social media. Like all of your posts would go stale. Nobody was really growing as much. And now in 2022, organic is back. Okay, TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts is like better than it was back on Instagram back in 2011 and 2013. And in this video, I'm going to prove it to you. I want to show you how all of this organic is like taking off again, and it's this whole new revolution again on social media. And if you're not taking advantage of this for your own clothing brand right now, you are truly missing out. So I hope you enjoy. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at BrandCrowd. BrandCrowd's a logo maker tool. You type in the name of the logo that you want to have made, hit enter, thousands of logos will come up. You choose the one that you like, then you can edit and refine that logo as long as you want for free until it's perfect. I had this design made for my own clothing brand using BrandCrowd. If you're interested, head over to brandcrowd.com forward slash apparel success and you can get 66% off at checkout. There was a period on social media where I basically gave up on organic content. I just said, none of my posts are getting out there. I put all of this effort into posting every single day on Instagram and I basically get the same thousand or 2000 views on these posts. I don't know what's going on. No matter what I do, I can't seem to get my posts out there and I just mailed it in. And all I was focused on was paid advertising, just Facebook ads, Instagram ads. And I was just so caught up in, you know, I had the thinnest margins for my clothing brand because the ads were bringing back like a 2.53 ROAS, return on ad spend. And it was like so frustrating because you were just in the profit zone and you were just relying on ads to get your brand out there. And it is such a relief that all of that is changing right now. And I want to show you with real results for my own clothing brand. What you're looking at right now is all of September in 2022, the whole month that just passed from the 1st to the 30th, I spent only $4,500 on ads and I did close to $30,000 in revenue. That's a return on ad spend of 6.35. And the way that I was able to have $10,627 worth of profit in the month of September wasn't from the ads that I was running. The ads brought in some of that revenue, but the majority of that revenue all came from my organic efforts on TikTok and Instagram Reels. Literally just from posting value content on TikTok and Instagram Reels consistently three to five times a day, just sticking with it, posting content with hashtags related to our niche, we were able to get you know close to $30,000 worth of sales and we just killed so much of our ad spend. We didn't spend nearly as much as we would have normally and our profits became way better because we're getting the same amount of advertising, the same amount of reach without having to pay for it. The main concern is this idea of posting three to five times a day on TikTok and Instagram Reels. It seems like something that is going to require so much of your time, but I'm telling you right now that you don't need to think about this in terms of production value. You don't need to think about how much time it's going to take and shooting these like crazy, beautiful videos and editing for hours. Go to k -Bud Apparel TikTok and just look at how simple the posts are that I'm making. Okay, they're so simple. I'm directing some of the attention to the hoodies that we're wearing, but literally these posts take me a half hour every day to make. Okay, they take me a half hour. I write the ideas when I'm just laying down on my phone. I write them periodically and I tell myself, you know, I'm gonna do this every single day. Between three to five posts, I'm just gonna be consistent with it. And it's way less intense than it needs to be. So however crazy you're making it seem in your head to make three to five posts a day, it's really not that bad. And also a, a side note here, all of the content that you create for TikTok is transferable to Instagram Reels. You can take the exact same post that you're making on TikTok, post them on Instagram Reels using the hashtags related to your niche. And I just recently had a video that's at 165,000 views, literally just me sitting on my balcony with, a, with some text above me, 165,000, okay? Drove thousands of people to the website for my clothing brand. And it just took like, it took like 10 seconds to make that video. And you know, that video's probably got even more views 
even recording this video now because time's passed and it's still accumulating views. And I just, you know, I'm so excited because this whole world of trying to get the ads to spend right so that you have the perfect return on all of your ads is so hard to actually make all of that work. And when you have this working for you as well, it's such a nice safety net. You don't have to worry as much as like with how your ads are doing and you can rely so much more on the organic efforts and that'll just make your profit zone just so much easier to hit. So I really hope that that gets you stoked to keep creating content on social media for your clothing brand and I hope that that's proof that it can work. My clothing brand marketing program is 50% off until the end of the year, and this is the last sale that I'm ever going to have. I break down real conversations I've had with celebrities and influencers to land endorsements for my own brand. I show you how to grow a real following on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube from scratch. And I show you how to set up, structure, and scale up Facebook ads and TikTok ads for your clothing brand. If you're interested, you can learn more about what's inside at clothingbrandmarketing.com, and I hope to see you inside.